Hey everyone, it's Jim and Charles from Melaton Amps. And in this little short inserted episode, we're going to show you how to reroute the ground path for the cathodes for V1. And this is going to help reduce the noise floor of the preamp quite substantially. And this should only apply to everybody that's on version 1.1 of the PCB, as you can see over here. If you're on a later version, we'll, we should have this fixed and there'll be a dedicated video just for that. Okay, so you should have received a board with um, a cut trace, unless of course you're a test builder, in which case you've, you've cut it yourself. And um, if, you, um, if you left the cathode resistor, which is R, R5B. If you left the lead long, as we suggested, it'll give you a bit of a post to solder to. It's a little tight in here, but there's enough room to work on it. So I'm going to show you, um, we'll show you a couple of different ways of dealing with this. So let's start off and just presume that you actually put the resistor, soldered it in place, and cut that lead short instead of long like we've left it right here. So what would you do in that case? Well, you just take a little bit of your um, ground, green ground wire. This is the solid core wire. If your kit happens to have stranded, that's fine too. Um, and what you would do is you just make a little bend like this See that? And you would pre-solder down here. So you come in here, you do, you finish up your solder pad right here, and then you'd put a generous amount of solder, somewhere around here we've got solder. There it is. <laughs> put a generous amount of solder on your tip, and then you would just come in and you would basically drop this on top of your finished pad like that, and you would just solder it in place. And you'd give it a tug test and Bob's your uncle. But if you've left the post in place, let me show you a little bit better method to put that on. And basically we're gonna make a little bit bigger wire strip so that we can make a little bit of a turn in the wire. The better quality of the insulation on wires, the harder it is to strip them. <laughs> That's the general rule. Until you get up the silicon wire, and then it's a real bear. Okay, so how do we make a turn on that? Well, you can start a little bit of a turn with some needle nose like that. And then just get them on to something. Uh, what have we got? Here's something nice and fine. And Clamp on your needle nose. I've got to stay on screen here. It's a bit of a hassle filming and working. Uh, you're not on screen anymore. <laughs> there we okay, go. here we go. And just clamp that on and just turn it around a little bit. See, you've got a nice little hook there. It's all we want. And you can you can improve that a little bit with your needle nose pliers. Let me just, there we go. Then we're gonna come in here and we'll bend that. So it's up like this, there you go. And we'll just drop it in there. We're gonna come down and we're gonna cinch that close basically. Just take your time. If you've got a tea or coffee on the go, have a sip. Whenever you're doing modifications or finicky little jobs, it's always good to have time. And, and just do it a nice, neat job. So all we're trying to do is just pinch that conductor around the exposed lead here, just to give it a bit more of a mechanical attachment. Yeah, and it'll give it more surface area too. And almost anything will work. 
So let's just get that lined up a bit. It's not quite closed. Let's take a look at it. The wire is gauge is just a little bit of a of a pain. Or a pita, as people say. <laughs> and there we go. I think that's going to close up nicely now. I just have to get in position. I know you're probably not seeing half of this, but I think you're getting the, the idea. There, Bob's your uncle, finally. And what you want to do is just lay the wire so that it, it's sort of in its natural position where it's going to come be bent and put in place and away from that capacitor. And we want a little drop of flux. Not much. You really don't, whenever you're doing really small pads like that, you really don't want much. And I think probably something like 370 C, 690 Fahrenheit, no more than that. We're going to want to come in fairly quickly and get out. Now, remember, all the wrappings on capacitors are essentially high quality heat shrink. And the soldering iron all the way up here is hot. <laughs> so don't go anywhere near any of those or you're going to melt them. You're not going to damage the capacitors, but it's going to be a cosmetic boo-boo. Oh, you might damage them. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's your best not to touch if them. If you kept on going, you would. Yeah. So, so the idea here is I want, I want that resistor pad and I want the um, wire wrapped around it, soldered down and in place and we're going to let it cool a little bit we'll have a look at that and it's not on so let me just get in there and there we go just dropped in i'm just going to let it cool for a second and now we just give it a little tug test and she's on solid let me just clean my tip get it out of there and now before we forget, let's get that lead out of there. You don't want to leave little pokey leads sticking out all over the place. Well, they could easily short or stab somebody. Shorts, though, are what we're really worried about. Okay. Now, we just want to route this up, and it's heading over to here, to the, to the furthest forward junction. There's actually two common grounds on the um, on the four gang uh, blue junctions. There's a ground here, a ground here, a ground here, and a ground here, and they're all on the same ground plane. So all of these grounds will all connect up. This just happens to be a convenient one because it's not getting used by anything else. So, because this is solid core wire, you can actually bend it quite easily and shape it and make it nice and neat. And just get an idea of where you want it. My hand's right in the road, of course. <laughs> so, it's going to be something like that. And we're melting part of our plastic over here <laughs> because we're busy. Um, not the first time. Yeah. Yeah. So strip back enough that you can fit it into the blue junction. Now, whenever you have a wire with reluctant uh, insulation, just take your needle nose pliers, grip on the back of it, and then it'll just pop right off. And that's really all there is to it. It goes into here. And you can shape it a little bit to make it neat. And it's fairly thin wire too, so make sure you have that blue junction tightened right down on it or it's not going to stay there. So let's go ahead and, oh, okay, we didn't yeah. pop out. Yeah, if you have it in the center of the, of the terminal, that helps a little bit. And, and there we go. Let's give and, it a tug test. And with any terminal connection, always, yeah, always give it a tug test. And here's a little pro tip. If you've got a standard mini slot screwdriver and it won't fit in these junctions, just take a small file 
or a fine belt on a belt sander. And don't do this over your amp, of course. <laughs> but all you have to do is head down to the shop and just clean off that extra shoulder that's here that's keeping your screwdriver from going in. What you don't want to do is to be half-assed forcing your screwdriver in here and chewing up the plastic. And making a real mess of things. So I actually learned this uh, method when I was, oh, I was just a young lad and I was building a little mechanical kit that my grandfather had given me for Christmas. And I was getting really frustrated and he said, what's wrong? And I said, well, I said, the screwdriver doesn't work. And he said, come with me. And uh, he was a machinist by trade. And, uh, and uh, he said, no, that screwdriver is way too big. He said, let's make you a new one. And I thought, what? He's going to make a screwdriver? And my grandfather made a screwdriver. And it fit perfectly. And, of course, my, my Christmas kit worked perfectly, too. So, yeah, so always, always make sure you have the right tool for the job. If you don't have it, you can make it or modify something. Okay, well, back to the rest of the build. Okay.